So we removed the old unit just to go through setup on the two different types of shortwave diathermy units. This is the newer unit, and as we mentioned earlier, this unit is self-contained. So this drum or this head that we are using has both, has a coil inside, so the energy does not travel from one head to the other. This um, coil travels, the energy travels from the inside to outside. So it sets up an electromagnetic field around this drum alone. So we do not need the other unit unless we were going to try and treat two different body parts. And even in that case, you need to be careful about how closely you put those two units together because they will tend to kind of um, interact with each other and it may heat one head up or the other, in which case the machine has um, a safety mechanism that if the head gets too warm, it shuts one of them off. So it does that automatically. So in this case, the setup would include just one drum. You would want that centered over the area of the body that you want to um, treat. And um, the patient, again, is comfortably positioned with a towel to absorb any moisture. And we are ready to initiate our treatment, choose our parameters, and um, start the treatment for the patient. Okay, so we're going to initiate treatment. In this case, we have a low back that we are treating, which we know has a lot of soft tissue, muscle tissue. We are wanting to um, get a much deeper penetration. So I'm gonna leave the rate on the machine at 12 and also the power at 12. Typically our treatment time for shortwave diathermy is 15 to 20 minutes. If I were dealing with an individual that was much uh, more frail or did not have as much muscle tissue, um, I certainly would adjust either my rate and my, or my power and or both because um, the amount of resistance to the electromagnetic energy that we are applying is going to be less. So they do not need as much, um, as high a rate or as much voltage to receive as much of the energy. So we're getting ready to initiate treatment. As we discussed in this situation, we're going to leave it at the highest rate and the highest power so that he gets the maximum amount of energy absorption based off some of the laws we're gonna be talking about. Um, you have to have a maximum or an amount, of, a significant amount of energy to affect tissue change, which is our purpose in applying modalities. So if we come over and look at the screen, we're gonna, we've talked about the highest rate of being 12, the highest power being 12, and our time range about 15 to 20 minutes. Once I hit the start button, this machine is really nice because it shows us here in kind of a bar graph the level of conductivity and how good of a, um, a, um, a, a connection that it has with the body. If I start to move this, this drum, in other words, I pull it away, you can see this bar graph start to go down. This is a perfect example of what's called the inverse cosine law. So again, come back down. Actually, it's the inverse square law. So if I pull this up, you can see how that changes. The amount of energy that's being transferred into him significantly decreases. As I bring that closer down, you can see the graph shows the transference of energy a little bit more. Now, if I also tilt the head, right, you can see how this starts to change. Again, this is a demonstration of how some of the energy is either being reflected or reflected refracted so in order for us again to maintain and make sure that we get the maximum amount of energy we want the head to be the angle of the head to be at a 90 degree angle who can tell me what that law is question mark <laughs>